on tap, Hialeah IPA. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today we are conducting another blind taste test, Hialeah IPA from Cigar City Brewing. You might ask yourself, how can I say the name of the beer when the guys are sitting right here next to me? That doesn't seem very blind. Through the magic of television, this part of the show is being shot after the taste test. It is then being edited with the last part and the first part last and the last part first. Let's learn about the beer. Cigar City Brewing has a 15 barrel brew house located in Tampa, Florida. They have an emphasis on using local ingredients that highlight the culture and heritage of Tampa Bay. The brewery says the Hialeah India Pale Ale pours copper in color and has notes of citrus and top tropical fruit in the aroma. Look for citrus bitterness and a hint of caramel in the malt backbone. They recommend pairing this with beef empanadas, deviled crabs, and other spicy dishes. All right, we're in part two of our little blind taste test experiment. We just did Furious from Shirley Brewing Company. Now we are here blind taste testing another. I've given these guys some options ahead of time and they've done a little bit of research on their phones. So let's go and get some first impressions. Chef, what are your first impressions of this beer? You know, the f first impressions uh, the, on the nose, I mean, you have a light, light kind of citrus hop note to it, but not really overabundance of that. Uh, the drinkability is, is really nice. You, you do have some hop forward, a uh, little bit of citrus notes, but a, a extra caramel and you get a nice sweet finish to it. Um, very, very good drinkability on it. Joby, what are your thoughts on this beer? Yeah, I'm there with Chef, man. It's It's got real high drinkability for me. Um, the the hops in it, they are noticeable, but they're not overpowering, so they're not, it's not a hop bitterness that lingers or even hits you hard up front. It's just nice, smooth all the way through. Um, again, the color is, is real nice. It's kind of unfiltered a little bit. It's kind of hazy. Um, the head's not as strong as, as the first one we did, um, but it's still sticking around a little bit, but it wasn't as thick. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good beer. I mean, taste-wise, high drinkability, which normally rates high with me. Mark? I mean, they hit the, the main points that I also would have said. I, I think what's pretty remarkable about the beer is the actual hop malt balance. I, I think that there is definitely a good hop on the backbone that gives it a little bit more structure to offset what I think is actually a, a very tasty malt sweetness. Uh, you can find it very much in the nose, but as you let it wash over you know, your, your whole tongue, you can actually pick up on s some more of the sweetness rather than just the hop front that these guys are talking about. So I think that it, it's a very well-balanced, very even delectable beer. Let's get to my favorite part, the game show <laughs> portion of this show. All right. Out you folks have written it down ahead of time. You've locked in your answers. What is the ABV on this beer? Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. All right. It looks like we have one winner here. Uh, it is the 7.0 to 7.9 range. Oh, wow. so close. Actual yeah. ABV is 7.5%. I'll take uh, that one. <laughs> one point for Adam. Good job. <laughs> All right. Worth one point, what are the IBUs on this beer? And uh, Joey went very specifically. <laughs> uh, but two of you got the right range. Uh, Joby, you were very close. Uh, it was 70 IBUs. So oh! He was... chose 68 IBUs. I think she's, that's pretty damn, pretty damn good. Price per 12 ounce serving. Uh, and the answer is... A dollar eighty-three. Bingo! On Chef fire. is on fire. Is that three for three? That is three for three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Ah. Your dad, so. The style. This is worth two points from Beer Advocate. Style from Beer Advocate. Well, you guys all danced around it a little bit. It is actually an American IPA. Wow. So. You're all a little off on that one. See, I, I thought I was going with the Belgian pale ale just because of the fact that they didn't have the nose 
that you normally expect from an American IPA. You, do, you normally get that dry hop, that heavy hop forward smell to it. And this I didn't pick up as much as, we, as the one that we just did, you know, that had a, a stronger nose to it. Like it doesn't it have quite the same edge to that, it. That, and, and the second thing with, the, with why I went Belgian Pale Ale is because it's, it's got that sweetness, that caramely sweetness at the end. Uh, what is your rating, Chef? You know, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm between a six and a seven. I'm gonna probably go with six. Uh, I think it's got good good drinkability. No, I'm gonna I'll stick with seven because I, I do like it. I do like the, the 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 sweetness that it has. I like the 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 hop characteristics that it does have. I think it's pretty balanced with the hop malt characteristics. Okay, Joby, what's your rating? I'm um, right right there with Chef. I'm going with a seven on this one, James. It's got high drinkability, and it's a, it's it's an all right IPA for me. I wish there was a little more on the nose, because if you smell this, it doesn't really have very much citrus, floral, any kind of aroma to it too much. Um, you so, have to dig a little deep. Yeah, you yeah. got to really you know get your sniffer in there and, and pull real hard. But I mean that's that's nitpicky for me. But still, I mean I think it's a good beer, and uh, I, I, I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, Mark? Yeah, I'm also going to go with a 7, and uh, pretty much for all the reasons that I said uh, beforehand. You know, it's a well-balanced beer. Um, these guys keep harping on the drinkability, which I'm not going to deny. I think it's a very drinkable beer. And, and, I, and I think that's part due to the balancedness of it, right? I mean, the, the balance. The balance the of the beer. The balancedness of the beer, <laughs> you know. So anyway, yeah, for such a well-balanced American IBA, uh, uh, apparently it, uh, but yeah, seven. I'm good with that. We are going to take That's a second here said. to write, lock in our answers on the beer. We'll be right back. We are back. The guys locked in their answers. I had given them some choices on which beers they could uh, guess on. And why don't you reveal your answers? Okay, we have Nugget Nectar. We have Hyali IPA, and we have Karma, practice good. <laughs> All right, and the answer is... Hyali! Oh. Hyali! <laughs> Man, I was... Very nice. Very that nice. was fir my first thought when we were upstairs, right? I, I was looking it up on my phone trying to get the information, but then I, I when, when they have a description on the website, it didn't really highlight that that caramely sweetness that I was pulling out from the beer. So that's yeah. why I actually negated the high ally. They highlight like the tropical fruit. Yeah, yeah, they try flavor that, that, to it. And yeah. if you look, if you know that ahead of time, you can kind of like pull out like a passion mm -hmm. fruit or something like that that is in the beer. Chef, what are your initial impressions now that you know it's high ally? You know, I I, I mean it, it, it's a good beer. It doesn't. It, it, I don't think it necessarily changes any of my any of my ratings or anything like that. But uh, I think it's uh, it is a solid beer. Uh, I, I've not had anything from Cigar City Brewing, and, and this is Tampa, in Florida. Tampa, yeah, Tampa, Florida. Um, this was given to us by Richard Hartogs. Uh, okay, he sent that to us. If you'd like to send us some beer, just message me, Joby. How, well, now that you know it's high lie, I mean that was your guess. Uh, is there any reason why? Uh, not really. I mean, no, I, he ran out of good guesses. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I ran out of guesses. Process of elimination. Um, well, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, the choices that I gave you, I wanted you to be able to like narrow stuff out based on information you're getting, based on the flavors you're getting. I didn't want it to be. A, I wanted it to be an educated guess. Right. Know. Right. No, I mean, I think it's. I think it's a solid beer. Um, like I said, I think I'm. I'm fine with my seven. Um, I don't think the packaging would have. Uh, Changed my rating or conception or conception. That seems like a good word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perception of this beer. Perception. At all. Conception. Contraception. <laughs> oh, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah. Mark. <laughs> hey, hey, Mark. Hey, hey, Mark. What was the question? <laughs> uh, knowing it's high lie IPA from Tampa, Florida. Uh, well, I mean, it. it's not going to change my estimation of the beer whatsoever had I known it was Cigar City before or, or knowing it now. Have any of you ever heard of this beer? Well, and that's no. what I was going to get to is that uh, I, I know Cigar City has been talked about, I think, especially on the Great American Beer Fest circuit. I know that they're doing good things in beer, and I've never had anything from Cigar City, so I'm actually pretty excited to try this. Uh, but like I said before, it doesn't change my opinion, but two, I think that this gives me a little bit more you know, expectation of branching outward from 
the traditional beers that we usually stick to, you know, not just the styles, but some of the breweries that we kind of depend on from time to time. So I like the fact that something good is coming out of Florida, you know, because I don't really know of any breweries. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that, that's the other thing that I want to kind of say is that, you know, a beer coming from Tampa, Florida, I mean, that's definitely in, in itself is a is a pretty neat deal because I, I don't know of any great beers that are coming Florida out of Florida brewery. that are that are brought up to here in Ohio and obviously D.C. area possibly and everything else. I mean, that's that's pretty that's now, pretty good. Yeah, you can't get this in Ohio now. Based on the flavors that you're getting, would these beers that you're tasting make you more or less likely to want to try other Cigar City beers? I'd say, try, I mean, I, let's let's try some more. I, yeah, I, would I love think to. so. I think so. I mean, I think they do again with the balance. Uh, they, they obviously are looking for specific flavors, and they describe the specific flavors. And I think they have a good balance with the beers. I think they got that that malt and hop uh, balance down. I wouldn't be expecting, you know. Uh, and out of the park home run every time. But I think judging by this, I, I'm very interested to try some of the other beers that they have. I know we all pick favorites when it comes to breweries that we feel comfortable with just because we've had, you know, consistent good beers from mm -hmm. several breweries, you know, and we all kind of get cozy with that and try and stay put. You know, it's, sometimes it's hard for guys like us or other people out there to kind of branch out and try something new, but right. this kind of shows me something else that's out there and so i really like the idea of something good coming from florida so nice highlight ipa gets a 7.0 on the bba scale what's your favorite beer from florida let us know in the comments section thanks to richard hartogs for sending us this beer without your support we would not be able to feature great regional beers like this on our show we really appreciate it thanks for watching i'm james knott and this is your better beer authority, better beer authority.